Hey, what's going on there, folks? Earthmaster here, checking in on this August 22nd, 2020, 7.41 p.m. It is Saturday night out there. Please stay safe if you're out there having fun. <clears throat> if you're like me, staying home, then uh, that's a good thing. Taking a look at the earthquake activity around the globe here real quick. Uh, activity really ramping up up here off the uh, Alaskan uh, Lucian Islands up here, also into the mainland up here. I need to go to a different map to show you guys the exact um activity here real quick stand by one second here let's get this up and going if i can i forget i added that uh, above that there we go <clears throat> yeah so you can see uh quite a bit of earthquake activity nothing major at the moment looks like uh 4.9 being the largest uh, magnitude within this sequence of quakes there in alaska pretty much all along the uh, lucian islands right here and uh, once again, this is just 2.5 and above. We can go ahead and uh, bring this other map down here real quick. See the uh, other microquakes that are taking place up there throughout Alaska. Of course, right along the subduction zone here, it's pretty active um, <coughs> with earthquakes. But I just saw it here within the last hour or so. This is quite a bit of, uh, of activity picking up there. About 38 kilometers there on that 4.9 quake that struck there. Uh, on the Lucian Islands area 30 kilometers for that one and uh, 94 kilometers for that one near uh, what is that Nanwalik Nanwalik Alaska at least 65 kilometers west of there 4.3 94 kilometers below surface so some deep movement going on out here in this region of the world here something to watch and monitor especially along this subduction zone out here uh, they do see some big quakes and uh, it's definitely an active zone tonight We'll continue to monitor that and uh, see what happens from there Still some activity out there along the western part of this Pacific Ring of Fire just south of Japan up through uh, this area up here near the Sea of Sea of Hosk Hopefully I pronounced that correctly. I don't know. I need I think I need some help with my pronunciations there a little bit <clears throat> Some deep movement up here along the subduction zone too. So pretty active uh, in the northern part of the Pacific Ring of Fire. Not so much down here towards the south. Uh, just some minimal activity there near Tonga and Fiji Islands area. Of course that deep one, 4.4, uh, 547 kilometers below the surface. And uh, another deep one there at 522 kilometers below the surface there. This area is very prone to some deep earthquakes. Uh, this area and also some areas over here towards Indonesia and up through um, up around this area just south of Japan there very common when it comes to uh, uh, some deep earthquakes there but definitely good to be on guard following those deep earthquakes California lighten up a little bit up here near Willits and around the geysers there in California uh, near Clear Lake or south of Clear Lake I should say Clear Lake up here all the geyser activity, uh, pretty standard, I would say, as far as uh, daily earthquake activity. A little two-pointer there, and the activity up here to Willits area. Still kind of showing some, uh, some uh, you know, some activity. Nothing big at the moment, although over the past, we can bring this back over the last seven days or so. Check out the all magnitudes here, and you can see a pretty good cluster. Pretty good amount of quakes there within this region. Uh, looks like about, let's zoom in just a tad bit, get rid of that. About 60 earthquakes or so over the week here around Willits. Um, pretty much confined and cluttered here in this one little section. And the majority of this earthquake activity took place following that, uh, what was that, four pointer, 4.2? Right there. So, you know, it's it's a pretty active region around here. Uh, this fault system right here, this Mana, what's it called? Makama, that's right, Makama fault section. Uh, definitely capable of producing a potentially 7.2 magnitude quake there in that region, according to the uh, seismologists and whatnot. So it's always good to keep an eye on that. Uh, the rest of California, let's, uh, let's bring back the one day instead of seven days so we can get rid of a little bit of a clutter. Pretty quiet down here to the south. <clears throat> Some microquaking, of course, down here in this uh, spider web of fault systems. No, also, well, 
Yeah, most of this is right around the, uh, what do we got? This San Jacinto fault system, I believe. Yeah. Right here. No more uh, earthquakes swarming around Salton Sea at the moment. But uh, that can always change there. As far as the eastern part of the country goes, not a whole lot. Some activity out here around Pecos, Texas. A little quake down here south of San Antonio. A little 2.6 near Poth, Texas. And uh, other than that, pretty darn quiet. Some activity over there around North Carolina, but uh, look at that negative, negative, interesting there. Um, yeah, so nothing big going on, folks, as far as the earthquake activity goes. Tremor map real quick. <clears throat> I checked this earlier. It was pretty quiet. Uh, not so much today. I mean, at least right now. Earlier when I was doing the uh, Tropical Storm Hurricane update, this thing was absent of activity. Now we're kind of seeing a swarm of trimmer being picked up here in Northern California. And um, like I say, over the past couple days there, it's been pretty quiet. We can go back yesterday, do a search of that, no activity. Go back one more day. Well, there's a little bit of activity there. Maybe I was thinking 21st and the 22nd there. That's got to be it. But today wasn't over. That's right. So there was only technically one day of no activity. And that's that was yesterday. So we'll uh, definitely keep an eye on it. You know, it's not... Uh, let's go back here to the, today's activity. It's not a huge amount. Uh, but it is something new. And it's kind of confined into this area of Northern Cal. Willits sits down here to the southwest quite a way, so I'm not 100% convinced that this is the activity causing that uh, region to quake there at the surface near Willits. But uh, either way, kind of monitoring it. Uh, Yellowstone National Park, real quick, still no activity there. All pretty much wind related events. If you're seeing any type of signature like that, the darker color indicating some wind events in the region there so anyway hope everyone has a good night folks um please stay safe out there uh watching alaska for some potential further movement out there along you know with this cluster of quakes that we're seeing up there it's definitely good to uh, keep an eye on that region there 4.3 the latest quake to strike the globe up there in alaska and you can see that deeper earthquake activity there with the rings raised off the uh off the globe there so Stay safe, everyone, no matter where you're at, especially down there in the south, around Louisiana, looking like a one-two punch. I did do an update video on the hurricane um, scenario out there, so if you didn't get a chance and you want to check it out, go check it out. It's uploaded on the channel, so stay safe. We'll chat you guys another time.